What's going on guys? So today I forgot to film an intro at the start of this, but I went back up to my hometown, did a couple farm pond fishing, did some uh, species management of some good genetics in the farm ponds and stuff to do some bass. So we're going to be doing a catch, clean and cook of largemouth bass. I know a lot of people think that's kind of weird, but I mean I, I'm okay with it. I eat it all the time because uh, trying to make sure you have the good genetics in the pond and get the big bass up. So. I'm not going to show any of the cleaning part because, you know, YouTube's really weird like that, but I can show you the catching and the cooking part, so stay yeah. tuned. I think I got one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's smothered in moss, though. Yeah, there. There he is right there. <laughs> Another, oh, 10 ounces, 9 ounces. Another solid fish, though, that one. Caught him right by shore. Yeah. Oh, I just had him. There, there's fish on that worm. There. They're there. They're nibbling that worm. Oh, yep. There you go. Wow. Here. Yeah. Um, maybe about 11 ounces. Not an extra. There you are. A little bass. There. Oh yeah, maybe. On a five watt vector hook. Nice. <clears throat> Pound bass. Hmm. I don't seem to bite it until really close here. Oh. Yep. 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 Another fish. Say maybe another 10 ounces. 9, 10 ounces. Another nice solid fish. Try and get that clear over there. See if I can get them on the other side of the bank because they're all been right here. Well, I mean, that's a nice fish. I mean, that's enough fish to do a catch and cook. So we'll we'll do a catch and cook largemouth bass. <laughs> so <clears throat> I know a lot of people think they're game fish. They're hard to shouldn't really be eating them. But in this pond, it's more of uh, quality control, I guess you could call it trying to pull out the smaller ones to get the bigger ones to get bigger and so yeah there's one there we go smoking oh he's a little guy <laughs> uh -huh. little baby but he'll go back let him get bigger. This weightless Senko has been catching me a bunch of fish today. I've probably caught, I've we've been out here for maybe 10 minutes and I've already caught maybe 10, 12 fish. And so that's, that's nice. 
I'll probably switch back up to you know the old classic beetle spin <laughs> but for right now this weightless Senko on a vector offset hook that thing is smoking fish right now it's almost effortless you just get that Senko within like a couple feet of you and then it just gets smacked it's uh, really nice Yeah, like that right there. There you go. Better one. Oh, he's maybe... Maybe... Oh, here, wait, let me... Up here. Look at that. That hook just fall right out. That vector hook just poked him right in the mouth. He's maybe 10. 11, 12 ounces, maybe. Somewhere in there. Nice fish. Huh. Is that one still in there? Yeah, he is. There's no hole. Yeah. I don't know. What are you using, beetle spin? There you go. Oh yeah, it works for you? Yeah, it does. Keep that sucker. <laughs> there you go. Maybe 12 ounces. Maybe There's always been so much moss on these ponds. It's insane. And I bet you as, as it goes on, the moss will come back. Yep. There you go. Another fish? Yep. Yeah. There you are. 12 ounces. Probably. 12, 13. For several more hours out there, and the next couple of hours that we fished were not as successful at all. We switched to two different ponds, still nothing as good as we could because the wind picked up, and everything you tried, it just couldn't, it wouldn't work. So, uh, we all together cleaned up 19 fish. And so we, I gave him most of the fish to eat because he, they just had to have a meal. I just had to have a little lunch to myself and for the cooking part of this video. So I skipped the cleaning portion because you know how YouTube is. They don't like blood and guts or anything like that. So we're going to go straight to the cooking segment and see you there. Here's partial of the fruit of our labors. Um, I didn't show the cleaning part of this video because, you know, YouTube, they don't like the whole blood and guts thing. But I'm going to cut these little pieces up into nuggets and then we can batter them up. We got a flour, pepper, and salt mix here. Egg wash with our pepper again. And then we got this Louisiana seasoned fresh fry breading. So we'll do that and I'll show you the breading process. Let me cut these up into nuggets real quick though. Now that we got them all diced up into nuggets, we're going to put them in the flour first. Give them a healthy coat of flour. Oh, the flakes might look a little white, whiter than normal because uh, I soaked them in milk overnight. I don't know if a lot of other people do this, but I was just told as a kid it helps bring out a bunch of the the blood inside the fish, and so I I've just done it for a while. Um, so once you got them covered in flour, now what you're going to do is cover them in the egg wash, and then from the egg wash into the Louisiana seasoning and I'm gonna do that for the rest of these now and then I will get back to the fish I'm gonna make a uh, quick little cocktail sauce to go with it because I'm not a fan of tartar sauce what I'm gonna so. do is add a bunch of ketchup just a bunch of it because this is the base and once you have the ketchup added add a splash of Worcestershire sauce splash of lemon juice and then a big old teaspoon of horseradish mix it all together and the horseradish it can be spicy that's what gives it the spiciness so depending on how spicy you like your food it's going to be how much you add 
my okay, phone so rotation didn't work. I'm sorry on that one. But um, I have the cocktail sauce made. I just did ketchup, Worcestershire, lemon juice, and the horseradish. And so, just give it a taste real quick. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now I'll go good with our. Uh, I'll go good with our fish. So I'm gonna go get the whole oil heating up, and then we'll get this all fried up. Oil heated up. So we'll turn on. We're doing it on the grill side, Brent. I got the heat on now. I'm just gonna dump that oil in there. Get that all heated up. And once that's heated up, we'll throw the fish oh, in the grease. It's nice and hot now, so we're just gonna take a couple of these nuggets, lay them in the oil, get them frying, and then once they start to float, it means they're done cooking. Just gonna do a bunch of these at a time. And once they're done cooking, they're gonna go on the, here, give me two seconds here. Once they're done cooking, they're going to go on the this plate with some paper towels on them and get salted immediately. So, hopefully this will be good. First batch of fish done here. Just going to salt them with some fresh cracked Himalayan pink rock salt. Let them cool off and we'll get the rest fish of these done. fried up now. For a little splash of flavor, we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice to the top of all these fish. Just for little extra seasoning. Now they're done. Now all we have to do is make a plate of fish and we'll Plus enjoy fish. And it's time to take a bite. And we got our fish and our homemade cocktail sauce. The fish is flaky. The batter is nice and crispy. That's really good. I recommend all you guys try that. That is just... Mm. I'm speechless right now. Well, I'm going to finish eating this plate, and I will see you guys next time. Please um, think of hitting like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.